So what uh, started me on web design development was um, I've been designing, um, doing interactive design, computer design, um, long before there was a web. Uh, so when the web came along, it was just a natural progress into, into that. It was basically that I'd been designing um, desktop, um, desktop graphics, I'd been designing um, interactives for computers, I'd been designing all sorts of things. So that when the web did come along, it was just this natural progression of to, oh, okay, now I can make the work online and I can put it international, I can do all those sorts of things. Uh, what brought me to Canada originally was um, a girlfriend who turned into a wife, who turned into an ex-wife. So th th that remained, I remained here in Canada, she moved on to Texas, um, which is good. I, uh, I originally came to Calgary and lived in Calgary and that's the way it worked out. Mmm, almond milk few things that I had to thank my um, ex-wife for it was that we were uh, in the situation of living in a condominium and uh, she spotted that there was a teaching position literally um, in an institution uh, across the block and uh, for doing new media and she pointed it out and she prompted me to take the job uh, for which I will always remain grateful and um, then started to get basically headhunted for jobs from that point forward um, and wound up here, which was really nice. I do enjoy teaching. The The thing I enjoy about it is is people getting it. And I, I have what I call the light bulb moment of when, when a student actually gets it. It's, it's not just that they're doing the work, is it that they've had this insight or they've had this, this sudden excitement about, oh, that means I can do this, right? And, and, and I can see the, the, the connections coming together inside their head and I can see the thing just, just ticking along of its own. And that's a really wonderful thing to get. It doesn't happen every day, it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does happen, it's really nice.